Papo, do you think I'll have many children? <laughs> hey, I hope you give your mother and I many grandchildren. I'll have to find a wife then. You are young, my son. There's no reason to rush. I won't rush. But what if I already know? You need to learn how to be a Magi first. about that new stall with the treasures from the temple in Siwa? From a temple? Are you crazy? You don't want something stolen from a god? Why do you think they are so expensive? I would sell my whole life for an ankh of Amun. Welcome. We have many unique treasures for sale. This is your store? Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake. Not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. That Magi badge. Not very good, you know. We have better ones. Would you like? I like this one. These are the treasures of yours. Are they fake as well? I told you, not fake. Oh, how did you know? My treasures aren't really real, but not fake. My mother has some real ones anyway. Hey, I have a secret. I was once a Magi in Siwa. I've seen the real treasures. <gasps> oh, not fair. I made them all myself, you know. No one else can tell. Do not worry. They are very good fakes. I will not tell anyone. I said not fake. Were you really Magi? Maybe you are fake. <laughs> ah, hey. You're a very cheeky child. Now, let's see what your mother has. We go along the canal. You leave. I will fake it. Does not even make sense. <laughs> My mother! Oh no! What can we do? Something is wrong! Do not be afraid. Lucky for you, I am real. Stay here and keep hidden. What? Oh, but are you? Counterfeit treasures are our game. We are. I've got a nice sword. Would you like? I have your guts for oh, a you want. As I told them, I do not have any money, but I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please, take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. There are almost none like it. May you multiply happy years.
What does the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so bad. I serve so bad. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold Solbecks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi. Wait, do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold Sobex. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Stealing from a god is the greatest of blasphemy. Some awesome suit. No punishment. <laughs> golden statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. A recent shipwreck. This could be it. A golden statue of Sobek. Beautifully made. Just as the boy said it would be. I should return the... Many teeth will devour. Priest, I have your precious golden sobex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your beast clothing is just a mask for cowardice. God, the gods I hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! I am Medjay, you dishonorable dog! Walk with your master, priest. May you walk in the land of the Duat. What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. But hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. 
The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Another no dead farmer and his family will now lose their land. They used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market. But soldiers began harassing them. Filthy. Greek merchants said they were what bad the villagers reasons. been eating? They must have the food stored somewhere. I should have a look around. These hands contained strong seasonings. This food is rancid. It smells like shit. It is completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I have passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this! Time to die, Fila. Oh. 
This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning.